everybody and welcome to another spontaneous toy review here at Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. I'm your host Scott Zillner and today we've got the Profit Director Destro. This is a special repaint of Destro where he looks ridiculous and he's supposed to. Let me tell you why. This is a repaint of a repaint of a repaint. The original figure I don't even have but I have owned one before and they did this wacky paint job on a limited number of three packs that included Destro, Cobra Commander, and Baroness. And uh, not this Baroness, but the old one. And with that, they had this weird leopard print around Destro, much like the 25th Comic-Con version that we got years later, and that, 2007, yeah, 2007 we got this, they did two Destros, they did a regular one and this one as limited Comic-Con exclusives. And they went crazy wild, absolutely bonkers. Big Bad Toy Store ended up getting more of these somehow. And uh, I finally get one again. I sold all mine back when it was hyped, you know. Um, and this is often referred as the Pimp Daddy Destro. And the voice of Destro, Arthur Burghardt, finds it very offensive, very offensive, and discourages this Destro completely. So when Hasbro decided to do it again as a variant and call it Profit Director Destro, and put in this crazy theme that they're at this Monte Carlo to do an arms deal and, and whatnot, and he's gotta look flashy for this casino, I'm like, dude, look at that artwork. This is like a episode of the Sunbow, not Sunbow, the DIC G.I. Joe. Like, literally could have been an episode of DIC G.I. Joe. Dick Joe, yeah, I know. Um, and when you look at it in that light, Profit Director Destro suddenly makes a lot of sense. Pimp Daddy Destro is an offensive term, especially to Arthur, so we don't call it, uh, that we just, profit director i'm fine with that absolutely he's supposed to look ridiculous and he does and he's cool let's take a look i'm gonna open them up um this is special edition packaging this destro did cost more than the normal figure um it was about five bucks more and it has gold letters on it. It's a little more flashy. His tech specs remain the same. Um, but he's got some more gear that he normally comes with. And I just can't wait to see it. I was actually really looking forward to this. Um, there is a different background for him as well. Everything about this package says this was a convention exclusive for something and it didn't happen. Which, 2020 makes a lot of sense most notably is he has a giant cape and i really hope they go ahead and give us this cape later when they do like a regular gold-headed destro um because i want to use that cape in where it's not leopard print but i would like to use that cape um accessories he has sunglasses because he's already wearing a helmet Flaming cash, because he's just burning money. Doesn't come with a cigar, which is kind of strange. Like, you can't have a cigar, but you can have flaming money. Um, a gold gun, which is neat because it matches the Baroness's gold guns that she comes with. So I like that. The figure itself is a pure repaint. And he comes with a case, just like the other Destro did. And um, it has money in it. However, the color is a little off. Should have fixed that, Hasbro. We can put his flaming cash in there, and I'm sure it would all be fine. All right. Now, the original Destro had some wobble. No wobble. Wobble. I mean, he's just like a like a bobblehead here. Um, I have not put the Kiki in here, and I will. Sculpt, it's the same exact Destro down to his coin and his chest hairs 
Um, movement, this one's a bit more stiff than the other one, which is good. Gun goes into the holster, fine. It's a bright red holster compared to a darker red holster on the original Destro. Again, I'm all good with all of that. His head was a little crunchy there, but uh, no problems. And then he gets this cape. Boom. I like that. I really do. I really, really do. That does give him a much more, uh, you know, I'm dangerous look. I often have a problem with a lot of stuff fighting the hands. They do fit, but man, you got to like twist and turn and there we go. Okay. So it fits the case. Sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. So again, the original concept of this was just a strange recolor and it was limited. They didn't even do the whole run, they changed it. And because it was too cost uh, effective. It wasn't, they didn't change it because people were calling them Pimp Daddy Destro, they happened later. They changed it because it was just too costly to do the leopard print. So they went to a different, uh, uh, easier colorway. Um, this is a very fine color version of Destro. If you don't like it, you can easily wipe out the leopard print with another color. Um, a, you know, a complementary color, just use the black in there or the in this collar, you can make the red color and it works as a gold-headed Destro until we get a gold-headed Destro. Um, this cape actually fits on there really nice and it looks good. I like this Destro. I really do. So we've got like Business Destro, Party Destro. Business Destro, Party Destro. Baroness is like, oh good, you dressed up, we can go out now. Yes. <laughs> you know, this is a, this is a kind of a, a real niche market for this variation of Destro. It's a love it or leave it thing. Um, I absolutely love it. I like, the concept between, you know, Profit Director Destro and that he's out at Monte Carlo to close a Cobra business deal and he's got to look his, you know, flamboyant peacockish for that meeting and this does it. Now in the same way that he's like this, he could easily have gone the other way and like had a really dark cape and maybe a gunmetal head and being more Dr. Doomish, because Destro really is kind of that Dr. Doom type archetype, where he's his own wealthy man and he's doing his own stuff. So you don't tell Destro how he can dress, he dresses himself in the dark. It's fine, no one's going to laugh at you. You're a big man. Yes, I am. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, I make this quick, simple, easy, Profit Director Destro, for me, is an absolute buy. It's definitely that crazy time of, of Dick doing uh, G.I. Joe animation, and they had crazy episodes for that. And this works, Destro works in this form, absolutely. Um, and realistically, it's, it's, it's a crazy look, but Destro can pull it off, absolutely. Yo, Joe! And remember to follow us on social media, uh, TikTok, no, Twitter, yes. Bye, everybody. Destro, my dear, why are you burning money? Burning money? I can't see anything in these sunglasses on top of my helmet.